Hi, beautiful. You look ravishing in this fine, lovely evening of isolation. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy your time here. And welcome to another installment of Hairdresser Reacts. I'm your host, Brad Mondo. So as you may know or may not know, I did make a video a couple weeks ago called Hairdresser's Guide to Cutting Your Own Hair and Not Ruining It. More of you followed it than I thought you were going to. And there are so many videos of people trying my at-home haircut technique. I I was thrilled, listen. I tried really hard to make a very simple hair cutting guide uh, for you to follow at home. And apparently a lot of you really loved it. Little pat on my back right there. Well, I'm glad it all has turned out pretty well. From all the videos and tweets and Instagram stories I've seen, you guys have had a really good time following my tutorials. And so many of you have chosen to record yourself as you do this at home haircut process following my tutorial. And thank you for that. Uh, today I will be watching some of your videos on you following my tutorial. I'm really excited about this. Also a little, little, uh, you know, a little bit of nerves. Hopefully it turns out good and you know, we get a good outcome and I don't want to like trash on anybody today and it's all just like fun and like whatever. And like we all have a good time and like nobody gets their feelings hurt, but like, you know, I'm always honest with you. So let's watch some girls follow this Brad Mondo guy's um, hair cutting tutorial on their own hair to give themselves a makeover. Let's do it. Up first, we have Kita Liss. And this is called Cutting My Hair Short Following Brad Mondo Haircut Guide. <laughs> That sounds like fun to me, baby. Hi guys. Hi. So, oh, wow, your hair is long. This video, okay. I'm going to cut my hair. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm excited. Right off the bat, I am petrified. Only because she has beautiful hair. It is very thick. This might be a little complicated for her and it is very long. And I'm curious to see how short she's about to go. I've been rocking this hair for maybe three years this long. Okay. And I'm bored. Three years she's had it this long? This is a big change. More than what I usually go for. And a few days ago, I saw that Brad Mondo uploaded a video with a guide of how you could cut your own hair at home. So I already watched the video and he uses a completely different technique as the one that I use. Oh. And that video really inspired me and pushed me to finally decide to cut my hair shorter than what I usually do. Yes, that's so much hair. I'm so excited. Yeah, I've already brushed and straightened my hair. I would have liked your hair to be a little bit straighter. It's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty straight, but not a huge thing. Okay, no, it's really straight, actually. It looks great. Okay, I take that back. He's parting on the middle. Guys, now that I come back to this, I hope that I said part where you typically part your hair. I feel like I did say that, but I could have not said it, and I'm so sorry. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but I would have parted on wherever you part your hair typically. And you're gonna find where the apex is. That's the high point of your head. Yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I am very satisfied with the work that's going on right now on this girl's head. Look in the mirror and figure out where you want your hair to land. Put it like over here. She's a lot of layering. So in the front, she's gonna have a very little bit to cut. And in the back, it's gonna be a big chop. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> Put the tie in back here. You're not bringing it forward. You're not bringing it to the side. You're just gonna lay it down your back. This is the hard part, okay? When you don't have anybody there helping you, to get that to lay down your back straight, you have to like really maneuver it. You can always like lay it down flat, pull it forward, make sure nothing moves and put the elastic on. Yes, yes, yes. So now it's finally time to cut it. He is saying that I have to point cut like this. Okay, she is doing an amazingly fabulous job. Oh, I love how seriously she's taking this. I'm glad it's not a joke. Like I want you to take this seriously. I want you to do a good job. I don't want you to make some stupid mistakes because you feel like it was fun or do. I don't know, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> what? I don't know. Yes. Yes. Got it. Got it. Oh, okay, that looks now, exactly like how I did I it. Go back. I need to keep going. <sighs> okay. And now the serious part is to- Oh, that's so much beautiful, healthy hair. See how much hair I have. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it. Yes, I'm you are. I'm gonna cut it straight first because I have a lot of hair and then I'm gonna do the point cut. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my God! Ah! Shoot. Go! 
Get it, girl. Do it. That's a lot of God. Ah! Ow, I just punched my own finger off. Oh my God. Why did that hurt so bad? Oh my gosh, you did it. Yay. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to cut. It was not perfect, but I'm done. So it's already cut it. Oh, See? this is the best part. She's gonna take oh the elastics God. out. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Moment scared. of truth. It's so short. Wow! Oh my god, it's short. It's so short. It looks so perfect. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, it's so short. It looks so, so good. good. Okay, but we are not done. I think that now he does a little bit of layering. So let's see what. <laughs> yes, I do. Mm, mm, mm. I'm living for my short hair. I think I can definitely fix this yes Maybe. fix that please do sometimes there's a little bit of disconnection between each section you can totally go in and connect that up i had a little disconnection in the front as you'll see in my video and i just kind of clean that up a little bit i have no idea how it looks from the back but hopefully it looks all right so first i'm going to do these sections again guys i know it feels like a lot of steps but i, I it's worth it okay but like this now i'm going to do this side and then i will do the other one okay so now he's grabbing all the hair and pulling it up yes she's doing an incredible job <laughs> the attention to detail okay i'm gonna leave this one like this because i want to make sure that i'm doing the same length on each side thank god my hair is short now because with long hair, this would have been impossible to do. I have seen some people have trouble with that whole lifting your hair up when they have really long hair, but I did say in my video that you don't need to put the elastic at the bottom of your hair. You can put it right here. It doesn't need to be high up. The point is just to get that section to stay when you bring it back down. The point is not to put the elastic where you're gonna cut it. My arms are exhausted just watching this. Let's see how much I cut it here. Like over here. Oh no, what have I done? So I didn't separate this part, but I think we're good because now that I'm pulling this one up. Okay, it's, it's fine. Shorter. It's fine. See? It's shorter. She forgot to section out the underneath on one of the sides. Totally okay. That's just a little insurance. That way you don't cut into your length. Oh! The layers look so f good. She's looking like a queen. She's looking so good. The new look looks so good on her. So now he does face framing. And to do so, he just grabs a little bit of hair here. There you go. She's gonna kill it. She's gonna, she's gonna rock this. Some framing layers here. But we are going to do them shorter. So it's definitely true that when you have it dry, it's much more easier to see what's happening and what's going on and what are you cutting. So I like that. Yay! So I'm going to do a little bit of framing. Frame it up, girl. Yes, Put a picture frame so around that beautiful face. Start probably here, but I'm going to do it little by little, just as he's doing it. Yes. Yes, yes! I mean, I don't have the technique that he has, but I'm doing it the best that I can. And you're doing a great job. I don't know if I want to go shorter. Maybe a little bit. Maybe just a little. This is what happens when you cut your own hair. You're just like, maybe a little bit shorter, maybe a little shorter, and then you just end up bald. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> oh, I want to see it like curled or something. So I love it, but I'm going to try to curl it and style it a little bit, oh, and yes. I'll be right back. <gasps> 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 yes! yes. So, Mac, and this Shook. is how my hair looks. Good. I'm obsessed. I mean, oh my God, oh my God. I'm super, 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 super happy with how <laughs> Brad Mondo. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Super helpful. And look at my hair. It looks amazing. So I'm not gonna lie, the experience was a little bit stressful. <laughs> I was cutting my really long and beloved hair, 
but now I feel so refreshed, I feel free. This is much more lighter than my really thick and long hair. Oh, Kita, my love, that was amazing. Thank you so much for making that video. That was beyond well done. <laughs> from how beautiful that just was. Let's move on to the next person and see if they do as good as Kita did. All right, next up we have Cassafras. And this is following Brad Mondo's hairdresser's guide to cutting your own hair and not ruining it. Did it work? Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi. I'm so today because I am cutting my own hair. Cassafras, we're already in a fight. Why are you wearing a black shirt with your dark hair? Nobody can see your hair. I wanna be able to see those golden locks of yours. Brad Mondo uploaded a video called Hairdresser's Guide to Cutting Your Own Hair Without Ruining It. The timing was absolutely perfect and now I'm going to cut You're welcome. my own hair. You're welcome. So let's watch that video so I know exactly what to do. I hope she puts this into more than two sections. I did say in my video, if you have a lot of hair, please do more than four sections. You're gonna need it. You can do six, you can do eight, you can do as many as you need to do, but four is probably too little for her. Yes! You rocked that sectioning. Yeah! This piece is way bigger good than girl. Than our piece again, and that is also a good sign because at least it'll be somewhat symmetrical or whatever. And here we go. He says to make sure your hair is super straight and then leave a lot of tension. If I don't, then it's gonna be kind of lopsided. So there's my tension. I noticed with the first girl and this girl, they didn't quite listen to one thing I said, which was don't pull it to the front when you put the elastic in. Don't pull it to the back pull it to the shoulder and not towards the front. That'll help with making it all even. We're gonna slide it down just a tad because we wanna cut off two, three inches. So we're gonna stop this right there so that I don't cut more than that. Let's pull that down, let's make that. How did this happen? Yeah, what is what is that? <laughs> if you notice, let's get, a, let's get that screenshot up here. Her hair was tucked behind her ear. <laughs> That's why that happened. No tucking your hair behind your ears, okay, while you're doing this. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no! Is it good? Is it bad? Make it stop. Stop the video. Point cut, point cut, point cut. Little bit at a time. <gasps> She must have been doing this for like four hours. <laughs> ah, this is- That was way too much, oops. Oh God, this is such a disaster. <laughs> I guess my viewfinder is going to be my lifesaver today. <laughs> this is so painful for me. It's probably half a centimeter longer, so we're gonna keep point. Ah, uh, she's gonna chop her fingers off. This is gonna end with a finger going missing. You know what? Oh. This is not too bad. This oh. She got it, she did it. It's good, we're fine. They're pretty similar, okay. We're good, okay. Move on to the back. Oops, I can kind of- She keeps putting her hair behind her so ears. Far. And I'm not mad yet. Uh, let's let's go to this back left section real quick. You know what, this is kind of fun. I'm enjoying this. Oh good, okay. Should I go slower? No, I'm go fast. Wrong. He's a professional hairdresser, I'm definitely not. I'm pretty crafty though, like I own a hot glue gun. Oh, I used to oh you got off. this. Back in like high school. These scissors are kind of a struggle. They look like they are very uh, uh, opposite of sharp. If Brad finds this video, he's gonna be like. <laughs> that is not correct. That is not correct. I mean, those scissors are awful. That's your biggest problem right now. They are not cutting for sh they are not wanting to do the job. They are not the ones for the job. My back pieces are definitely much longer, but I'm scared to cut them too short. Just do it. I'm gonna stand up so you guys can like see. Oh. oh no, no, no. Ah! <laughs> Clipped up here are my my front pieces that are shorter than the back. And then I took my back pieces and I stuck them. We, what, what, what happened? Why are we back to this? What? Straight. I kind of figured this would happen because I'm really bad at putting my hair in ponytails. Yeah, like, really it shows. Bad. I think that is way better than it was before. What do, what do we got going on? What is this contraption going on in your head right now? I should have done a better before. Yeah. So here's what we got so far. That's Honestly, better. I'm not mad about it. It's definitely not straight all the way across. No. <laughs> so I put on a lighter shirt so that hopefully you guys can see. Yes! 
Thank you. That's when you know the hair gods are real because they just answer my hair prayers. She put on a letter shirt. Thank you. Letting down the lower half like that. And we bought this front. Okay, it's a little bit too much hair to let down. As you guys have probably seen, my sectioning skills are not very good. No, sectioning is not your strong suit, but I'm glad you know that. We can all identify our strengths and weaknesses and work on them, right? Her point cutting skills are so freaking cute. I've totally gone off. Brad's path. No! Since my back is a little bit longer than the rest of it, I'm gonna cut more. Okay, this looks even funkier than the first time. Oh, See? God! <laughs> Look at that bloody hair tie. That is what? Ha what is happening? We committed. We are gonna cut. I'm so sorry, Brad. It's okay. This was not your intent, but it, it wasn't. Really long hair, so if it does look bad, as soon as we're done quarantining, I can go get it trimmed and they can. Fix it up a little bit. Thank God. All right, show us the finished result. So this is what we've got so far. Girl, it looks good. It, it's not bad at all. It is not perfect by any means. No. I'm gonna face back this way. I'm gonna use this mirror to look at the viewfinder to see where I am cutting. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> It's definitely not the best haircut I've ever gotten. No. So not the worst. I'll take it. Thank God she has a lot of hair. She's so beautiful. <laughs> she tried her best. This is honestly kind of what I expected when I went into this. I knew it wasn't going to look like I had gone to a salon, but I was really hoping it wouldn't look like I butchered my hair. I don't think it's too bad, but thanks, Brad. You're welcome. You're, this. You're not watching this. Yes, I am. <laughs> I appreciate your expertise. Oh, God. I love you guys so much. That was not the best. Did you try? Yes. I am satisfied. And... You look great. And I don't think your hair looks bad at all. Keep doing you, all right? I think it'd be so fun for you to cut your hair like up to here or something. Or color it, highlight it, <gasps> maybe. Let's watch One More Girl follow my at-home haircut tutorial. Up next, we have Michelle Gelden. I tried following Brad Mondo's at-home haircutting tutorial. So um, just like a few days ago, I see this video of Brad Mondo on YouTube and he's teaching us how to cut our hair at home. I feel like that is super skewed already. <laughs> okay, I got a hair tie because my hair is short. I'm, I'm interested in how well this is going to work on her shorter hair. Shorter hair is a little bit more difficult. It needs a little more precision, but should be fine. So we're gonna go to the top of the head and you're gonna lay your comb on there and you're gonna- Can she find her apex? That's the high point of your head, the tallest part. And I'm gonna take the comb from that apex and go right behind her ear all the way down. Right there. I think that's good. That looks great. So I had a fringe. Ooh. Had a fringe, so this is not gonna get cut. Yes, that's totally fine. I'm seriously gonna use a tape measure to see how long these are. Oh, can't see. We love the precision, except hopefully your previous haircut is even, or else it's gonna still be uneven when you measure it. Beautiful, fabulous, gorgeous, amazing, killing it, stunning, beautiful, amazing, stunning, gorgeous, fabulous, amazing, stunning, beautiful. It, you look, you, you, this is great. South Africa is on lockdown, so I can't go out of my house. So these are the only scissors that I have. I can just hear Brad going like, if he was reviewing this, he'd be like, oh girl, no, no, Michelle. What are you doing? That's not what I said. No, you're doing fine. <laughs> look at it. Okay, next one. A lot of you guys are having trouble seeing the back when you're cutting it. Definitely look in a mirror and cut it on the side. You don't need to actually like look at it while you're doing it. Cutting away, she's cutting away. It's really uneven, but this length is nice. <laughs> you guys, when you're cutting your hair like this, it's super important that everything is just perfect if you want a perfect result. So you're pulling the hair down, you're lining these up perfectly, you're getting maybe somebody to help you or yourself and you're laying these down the back perfectly at the same height. You're then not moving anything and cutting like that. Okay, cutting, cutting. You don't need to like pull it forward and line it up with the front. Don't do that. Line it up perfectly before you start cutting. And then after you pull out the hair ties or rubber bands, you can then perfect it, okay? It's okay to go in there and kind of like even it out. What we're doing first is kind of just getting that base like sort of straight cut going on or hopefully straight, but then you can even it out yourself. 
All right, so it's not a big deal if it doesn't come out perfect the first time. I'm so happy that she's evening everything out. It's starting to shape up and look a lot better. Okay, so you're just gonna take the comb and comb down like this. No, just the back, just see if they were like really uneven ones. He looks determined. Does it look like two layers? I think it looks like two layers now. <laughs> <laughs> when you do this, that should all the hair be like e e even? No, I don't know. Like if the first It looks- Tell Brad. Tell us Brad. <laughs> <laughs> she f hates me. <laughs> she hates me. She's never gonna watch my videos again. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so you're just gonna take all of those hairs, those few, and then just chop them. <laughs> you can do this. How's that? Nice. Yes, you f killed it. You killed it. This is the finished look. It looks great. Honestly, it's not that bad. No. It could be much worse. Let's not lie. Looks pretty good. Thanks, Brad. Now I have shorter hair. I wish she did the layering portion. It would have looked really good with the layers and it would have helped clean up that kind of unevenness in the back. You look amazing, Michelle. Okay, you did a great job. Congratulate yourself. That was beautiful. Not easy to do a short haircut like that. And you nailed it with the help of your boyfriend. Great teamwork. 10 out of 10 for me. You killed it. And stop being so hard on yourself. Well, I'm glad I could help you guys get a little trim before going to see your hairdressers after this whole quarantine moment is over, if it ever ends. You guys actually all did a great job. I know it wasn't that easy. It's the easiest I could possibly make it while it's still being better than pulling all your hair to the front and cutting it, how all the other tutorials on YouTube do it. That's not a good idea. That is all for today, guys. Don't forget to follow me on every other social media network because we want to stay connected. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I have a show on Snapchat. I'm on Facebook, Grandmondo NYC. And you can check out my hair care line, X Mondo Hair, for beautiful, amazing, fabulous hair products. It'll be linked below. We just released a heat protection spray that protects your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. We also released a conditioning mist. You can check it all out, linked below on our website, xmondohair.com, or you can head to our Instagram at xmondohair to check out everything going on with X Mondo. That's all for today, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hi beautiful. This is Glitterati, our styling serum. Glitterati is perfect for those of you who want a bit of hope, a bit of moisture, a lot of shine, and a bit of sparkle. If you're trying to have your style last you throughout the day, if you have a problem with your styles dropping very quickly, or you want your curls or your waves to be more defined when they're air dried, Glitterati is perfect.